Hi, it's Faceless Tech. I've been working on this project on and off for about nine months. Uh, took a bit of a break from making macros and so I was working on some other bits of stuff. Uh, kind of come full circle and back to this. Um, well, I'll show you what it is basically. It's a macro uh, with a screen switch mod. Uh, but it also has a controllable LED light bar that just goes through the colors. So what it did, I started, I did make one of these, um, my last macro was one that had a LED strip, which is basically these little tiny 2020 uh, WS2812 strips in it, but it just had like a color changing mode to it. And then uh, when I sold it to someone, they were like, can I change the color? And I was like, ooh, that's, that would be quite cool to do if you had some kind of like uh, controllability to it, but I just had it like on or off and that was it. Um, so I kind of went about doing some other things. Um, I did that a spun a board a few boards um one board i did was going to use the same um ttp chip that i used in the Game Boy camera flash mod you know with the touch sensitive i was going to use that to turn it on and off and then i was going to use a caps touch sense uh, library to do the uh touch in to do the uh, color changing with but uh, that didn't work out because the i couldn't get the color i couldn't get the cap sense board uh, library to work because I think I needed I think it needed quite a big copper plate to um, use as like a touch sensing and I was only using like a little tiny um, like bit of a copper a bit of copper tape so it kind of didn't work out so in the end they actually used the touch sense chip that I used in the uh, Game Boy camera to actually do to hook up to one of the pins on the uh, 801085 and use that as actual just, uh, sensing of that which worked quite well um, but yeah, this this I'm probably gonna do a respin of the board because this still has the old uh, chip on it, and also I had to use the chip in like a non-latching mode, which is normally uh, in the Game Boy Camera one. I used it in like a latching mode, so it's like on or off. Uh, but this is like where you touch it when you whilst you're touching it, it it senses it, and then when it's not, you're not. Uh, I made like a 3D printed uh, light pipe that has like a little channel so that you can slide uh, some of these LED strips into, which is quite nice. Because the original one I did was basically just floating around in the middle. But this you could do it and then you could have it so that they stayed in the right orientation. Because otherwise they could twist about and, and whatnot. Uh, basically what it does, it goes under the um, the Wi-Fi chip. If the Wi-Fi chip, if you, tape, if you cut off the bottom can, you get quite a little bit of space. And then that basically just slots underneath. And then you wire it up to your cup sensor and your... To your uh, three three point three volts uh, grounds and that's it really. It just sits under there. It's quite nice. Uh, I'll show you the um, some of the screen switching because it's got one of Luke's um, boards in the back. So you basically have the click on and off, and then you can click it left and right, um, which does the um, picture and picture mode. Which is absolutely genius. I was when he first showed me, I was like, "Oh my god! I wish I thought of that because it just makes so much sense. And it's worked so well." And you can easily click it, click on and off at the touch of a button, which is really nice. It's got the front-facing uh, PSP speaker. Um, I got a little jig for that. Um, I put the notes for that uh, in the blog as well. It's got a little, there's like a little jig to drill the hole, and then it's like a 16 mil hole, and then you put this cap glue cap over it, and then you can put the uh, PSP speaker in the f in a normal shell because you want if you want to keep the the light bar. Also plays uh, GBA games just like normal really. So it's quite loud. No amp, amp needed really for a front facing speaker. And um, but yeah, that's it really. I'll I'll put I'm gonna release all the files for this. Uh, the light pipe. We you know the LEDs that I used. Uh, the code for this Arduino, which actually was written um, with a bit of ChatGPT's help. Uh, I kind of, it, it, it's one of the things, it, it works, uh, the code works, but I had to do a lot of um, wrangling to get it to actually work the way I want to do, but it was kind of good to use as a base, just to get it, get it, get it going, because um, sometimes uh, I was using the uh, FastLD library, which is quite nice, there's loads of examples out there for that. So you could really have this to do anything, but I couldn't get it to go to do any like um, sort of animations with this uh, with this cap touch um, sort of sensing of it. It, it wouldn't uh, change to them for some reason, but um, I don't know, I might look into that in the future. But yeah, as always, uh, blog post in the description with a better, better uh, description of this with uh, all the files and hopefully everything else in there. Thanks for watching. Bye.